So today, I'm going to demonstrate three of the eight chi absorption postures. Some of them you may already know, at least one of them in particular, but maybe not so much the other two. So I'm going to describe some of the important points of each of the postures and then demonstrate them for you. So the first is a posture that we often have taken before. And you want your feet to be hip width apart and the heels a little bit to the outside. So relaxing and opening this triangular bone that's at the back of me, at the base of the spine called the sacrum. So we keep this, the feet apart and the tailbone relaxed and open. And I have my hands and arms sort of gently down at the side, just relaxed. And maybe even a little bit of opening underneath the arms, the area of the armpits. And then I'm going to bring my arms up, just right here, keeping the elbows down so my shoulders relax and keep my fingers just open. So something circulates through. And I'm going to show you the posture at the side. And then down. And then bring the toe into the corner of the room. My weight is mostly forward and it's as if there's one line from my heel all the way to the back of my head. And then I turn my lower spine, middle spine, and cervical spine with my palm facing out at my forehead and the palm at my lower back facing in towards my sacrum. And I'm going to turn the other side so you can see. And we do both sides. So stepping into the corner, again, finding the line, and then turning to face back. Palm at my head is out. The other palm is in towards my sacrum. And then spiraling back. So there's a little bit of a spiraling movement. And the next posture is stepping back to ride the tiger. So my weight is in between, but now it shifts a little bit. 60, 40, so 60 on this side, and this toe is out, so that's the 40. And I change legs. So those are the three chi absorption postures that we will do today. You take them in that order, and then we'll continue more 
next week. <laughs>